Peace and blessings to everybody out there. This is Michael Davis with another video. This video, I'm going to get a little bit scientific and we're going to delve into neurobiology. Um, the brain is the most complex organ in the body. Matter of fact, it's the most complex entity in the entire cosmos. In the entire universe is the most complex entity. But I'm going to forego my usual formalities and I'm going to you know, dive right into it. When you're dealing with anxiety, we're going to focus on a part of the brain called the limbic system, a.k.a. the reward circuitry of the brain. But it's also where emotions comes from. The reason why they call it the reward circuitry is because in the limbic system, that's where dopamine is secreted. Dopamine causes pleasure. It's an anticipatory hormone. When you see something like a Snickers bar, dopamine is secreted and it drives you to the Snickers bar. The pleasurable feeling of reward drives you to the sugar contained in the Snickers bar. Now, in the, limbic, in the limbic system, we have what you call the amygdala. The amygdala is the brain's alarm system. It constantly scans the environment for potential threats. So the amygdala is the body's alarm system, and it constantly scans the environment for potential threats. It's synonymous to a car. You know, a car is parked. It has an alarm system in it. Somebody walks by, touch the handles, the, the alarm goes off. And that's how the amygdala operates. So I'm going to give you a scenario. I deal with social anxiety. And so let's say I walk out the room like alone. I'm cool. All right. But let's say if I walk out the room to go down the hall or something and there's a lot of people in the hallway, the amygdala starts to scan. It starts to scan the environment. So the amygdala is on hyper alert. It's looking for threats. So if you don't trust people. Because probably you've been abused in the past or something traumatic happened to you to the point where you begin to be a little bit misanthropic. You, been, you begin to be a little bit weary of people. Then you see a lot of threats. Everybody's a threat. The, mid, the alarm system is going off. That's your amygdala telling you that there's threats in the environment. So then you begin to panic because your adrenal glands begin to secrete cortisol, epinephrine, norepinephrine, which is adrenaline and noradrenaline. So your stress hormone goes up. The alarm system is ringing. So you begin to panic. You begin to panic. Now we have another part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex, a.k.a. the frontal lobes. Now the frontal lobes is where logic lies. You know, it's where you make all your executive decisions It's where reason lies, logic, reason, executive decisions. And it's also where your personality lies. Now, one of the jobs of the prefrontal cortex is to tell the limbic system, hey, everything's cool. You're not in danger. Nobody's going to attack you. You can calm down a little bit. But a lot of people, limbic system overrides their prefrontal cortex, which essentially means their emotions overpower logic. Right? Because I told you the limbic system is where emotions come from. And I told you the prefrontal cortex is where logic comes from. And that's just being scientific. It's irrefutable. You know, it's irrefutable. What I'm saying is facts. So one of the one of the ways 
you can learn to train your amygdala to calm down and not overreact is through meditation. Now, everything I tell you guys, I want you to do your own research. You know, I have so many books. Everything that I convey to you guys, I've read and I've studied. Okay? So, meditation has scientifically been proven to shrink the amygdala. It shrinks the amygdala. It does a multitude of things. Meditation does. But it, one in particular, it shrinks the amygdala. And, you know, you're not going to see improvements one day of meditation. Anything you do takes consistency in order to see results. When you go to the gym one day, you don't have a body like on a Schwarzenegger. You got to continue to go to the gym. And it's the same thing with meditation. Okay? But it has scientifically been proven to shrink the amygdala. And you can research that. Just type in meditation and type in the amygdala. And I meditate every morning and every evening for 10 minutes. That's all it takes. I implement mindfulness meditation. Okay? It calms the nervous system. Increases alpha waves, lowers cortisol, and uh, reduces pain perception. It's scientifically shown to do all these things. Lower cortisol, the primary stress hormone, elevate alpha waves, shrink the amygdala. You know, so it's something that I admonish you to implement. You know, meditation will, will is proven to help people who have anxiety. And like I told you, I meditate twice a day. So this video is going to conclude. And I hope you guys have a great day. Mike Davis.